If you love Japanese food, this is the bowl you want to be making. Now, it's all about the classic savory Japanese broth, the chewy noodles, the beautifully glazed teriyaki chicken. This soup, it comes together faster and it is so ridiculously delicious. This is my version of a classic Japanese udon noodle soup with teriyaki chicken. Because this is a really simple dish, there really isn't anywhere to hide. Everything needs to be perfect. The teriyaki sauce, the noodles, the broth. But I have some really simple ways to make all of these very easy if you follow along. For the teriyaki sauce, you need sake, mirin, soy sauce, and brown sugar, and then heat that up in a small saucepan until it just starts to bubble. Then simmer it for only about three to four minutes. You don't want things to thicken up too much here. I just want the sugar to dissolve. So you'll see this sauce actually will be quite thin and that's exactly the way it should be. The thing you need to look out for is that all the magic is gonna happen in the pan, it's gonna get glazy and syrupy, just wait and see. So let's do our chicken skewers. To make the chicken skewers, just thread the chicken onto some bamboo skewers. Now I'm using chicken thigh here and I've cut it into little bite-sized pieces. You don't want pieces to be too big because that marinade may burn before the middle of the chicken is cooked if everything is too large. I'm gonna do a little bit of salt here. Next, we need to do the dashi broth. This is also a very, very crucial part of the recipe. The broth in this kind of dish is everything. Was that too dramatic? Maybe. <laughs> the easiest way to make a really great dashi broth at home is actually to use one of these. Now, these are readily available in most Asian supermarkets or search them out online. They're basically dashi powder sachets. Now, the thing with them though, is that they are a little bit confusing because there's often no English on the packet. So if you have a look here, the pictures on the front will help you out. I know, that's just the reductive way of doing it, but I mean, that's what you gotta do sometimes. I'm lucky because at my Asian supermarket, there is some English on the back here. What you're looking for is a dashi powder that has at least a fish component and a kelp component. Now, I'm gonna go with the fish and kelp version, and I think this one's really great because it has no MSG. If it's street food or I'm out in Thailand or you know in Asia, I'm all about the MSG. Like, put it in there. The noodle soup does not taste right without it. I just, I just choose at home not to use it. It. Uncle Roger's gonna come at me for the MSG. <laughs> I'm like a bad Asian. <laughs> Feel free to discuss in the comments below. <laughs> Typically, you need about one sachet to about four cups of water. That's what I found across multiple different brands. So I've got eight cups of water here, so I need two sachets of powder. And this is now our dashi broth, the base of our soup. What I need to do is add extra flavorings for the classic Japanese udon soup broth. So you start out by adding some soy sauce, some mirin, a little dash of sugar. So just look at this dashi broth. I mean, it's just so perfectly clear and beautiful. That color is amazing. The one thing that I do find when you use a non-MSG powder is that you do need to add a fair bit of salt, but what you need to do is try it and then go in with some salt. Ah, so you know, that is perfect. Okay, we are going to do the teriyaki chicken next. So heat up a pan and just coat it with a little bit of vegetable oil. And when it's really hot, add your chicken skewers. Now just let those sear for a minute or so, then flip them over and now the magic happens. Well, not right away, because you'll start to glaze the chicken and nothing much will be happening in the first instance. But as you keep going, flipping and glazing and sizzling, everything will start to get all caramelly and amazing. As you're going along, use a spoon to capture some of that glaze and drizzle it on the chicken as it cooks. And when your chicken looks something like this, I mean, ah, oh, that is so much gloss. It's like high vis. oh my goodness, I love it. A really good udon noodle is pure joy. I mean, it's thick and chewy and has this like beautiful elasticity to it. But the thing is that when you use those pre-made like shelf stable noodle packets, and I often use them, you guys would have seen me use them in my recipes, they're really handy to keep in the pantry. But the frozen version is so much better if you can get a hold of it in your local Asian grocery store. To cook them, you just need some boiling water, add the noodles in, cook them only for three or four minutes, that's all they need. As soon as they start to come apart when you use your tongs, that's when they're ready to come out. And I'm telling you, these noodles are 
are way chewier and bouncier and so much more yummier than the shelf stable version. But try it out and see what you think. Okay, so I also wanna do some baby spinach here as well. I'm just gonna lightly blanch it in that noodle cooking water, pop that into my bowl, and here we go with that amazing broth again. I mean, I just can't get over the color. Look at the clarity, it's amazing. And then add a skewer or two of teriyaki chicken, sprinkle over your spring onion and a few sesame seeds, and there you go. A classic Japanese udon noodle soup. It is a thing of beauty. It's simple and yet everything here is done right. And it will, should taste amazing. Ah, oh, look at that soup. It's like savory on a whole nother level. <laughs> it's savory, delicious, comforting. These udon noodles, ah. Oh. You need to try it. That's all I'm gonna say. So good, yum. They also slurp better, these udon noodles. Easier to slurp. <laughs>